Yo, what is up guys? I'm Antonio and this is Chelsea with Leap Travellers and we have finally made it to Vietnam after a long stressful struggle with her visa. My one was easy because I'm a British citizen but I'll let her explain to you. I'm about to answer the question a lot of people have been asking. For those of you who are not on the uh, list of 80 countries that uh, can get an e-visa, I'm one of them. So let's get straight into it. I had a really big palava if that's what you want to call it getting this visa uh, visa approval letter actually um first of all i researched it, it didn't say much on the vietnamese uh, immigration website it didn't say anything about a visa approval letter so i then decided to contact them and then there was no information about an appointment or how to get your visa it was just like getting a visa approval letter find a tour company and that was it so then I then got in contact with another company called Visa HQ in London and they were like yeah sure you don't need a visa approval letter this is what you need boom 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 um they gave me a list I followed it dropped off my documents then they came back to me saying you need a visa approval letter a few weeks before I was ready to fly out to Vietnam so I was in a big panic but to cut a long story short Anywhere you see online where they're saying you can buy um, a visa approval letter, that's not real. You can't do that. You used to be able to do that, so that's why a lot of websites have that on there. But you cannot just buy a visa approval letter online anymore. Just to clear that up, because we had we gone through so many websites and they told us that they can't do that no more for us. After long, long and hard research, YouTube, speaking to people on Facebook, Instagram, and a lot of people on Facebook are like, yeah, we can get it for you, but it costs 500 USD. We was a bit like, no, I'm not paying that. That's almost the same price as my ticket getting here. But finally, we found a company called Aviva through YouTube. Uh, someone else had used them and I got in contact with them. The way I knew they were genuine is because I had booked a cruise for Halong Bay on booking.com and Aviva had offered to book this cruise through their company and I messaged booking.com saying um, can I cancel this tour and they told me to get in contact with the people who organized the cruise so I got in contact with them and said I want to cancel it on booking.com but can you hold my space um, I found a company called Aviva and they're willing to book it through them and they said yeah no problem we've heard of them if they said they, they're going to book it, they will. So, you know, I really made sure this company was legit and they they were. We're here. <laughs> yep. They sorted out everything. Um, I spoke with a lady called Katie. She was fantastic. Every single day she would email me. I mean, it did not take more than two hours for her to respond to my email. So which gave me like peace of mind. So all in all, the whole visa thing, if you're not on the AE country list or whatever it is it's actually not that hard to get your visa approval letter it's just there's so much misleading information online that makes it seem difficult pretty much the easiest thing you could do is just contact aviva uh book a tour through them and then get your visa approval letter that way for us like she said it was lucky we already booked how long Bay, so we could just cancel and rebook it through them and get our visa approval letter so getting your visa approval letter with aviva does come with some terms and conditions and those are uh, having a return transfer to the airport booked with them. They are responsible for you in Vietnam. They want to make sure you get here safely, you get to your hotel and you exit on time. Um, you pay a deposit of £450, which is like 500 USD. And if you do not exit on your intended date, you will lose that deposit. Um, but of course, if you exit on the date you're meant to, then they'll send it back to you. Yeah. Um, obviously, they do expect you to book tours through them because they are a tour company. They're not a company just to get a visa approval letter. So do try and book at least one tour with them. But anyways, once she had her visa approval letter and was on our way to Vietnam and we got into the country, well, we got to the airport, it was really easy going through uh, immigration. It was super simple and it was very fast as well. So you just get off the plane and you'll see all passports so that's where you exit and you'll see a cashier um to your left you go straight to the cashier although he did send me back to the passport queue and say you don't need to be here but when i double checked i was in the right place <laughs> i think he just couldn't be bothered um you get there and you fill out a, 
basically you fill out a similar document to what you fill out for a viva and you pay 25 usd because they do not accept card and they don't accept any other currency only usds at the airport and you better make sure that those banknotes are crispy as well <laughs> because they don't take Chris, um creased up notes and literally two minutes and my name was called visa was done stamp was in my passport and we were through and for me because i have a british passport the visa application process is super simple you can literally go to the uk government website and follow the link for vietnamese visas apply for it through there uh, just fill out the documents and you'll get it back literally within a couple of days and that is it i think it was just 25 usd for your one i'll leave a link below anyways for the website you need to go to in order to get your visa if you're a uk citizen so we'll leave a link in the description below for viva so don't forget to check them out because I promise you they are the safe one of the safest companies to go with as I've experienced myself going through many different companies and almost being scammed. Also right now we're in Hanoi and we'll have a video out on Hanoi as well very soon. We're not here for long we've only had a few hours tonight to go out and then we've got a few hours tomorrow before our bus leaves for Hajang so it'll be a quick video but still you guys can see what it's like here and yeah it's gonna be a fun time. Peace!